Oh my gosh. Whew. Oh, that's the fastest I've ever gone on the one wheel. My heart was uh my heart was definitely racing right there. How's it going guys and welcome back to another video and welcome back to Pensacola. Today is not the greatest day. So it is Wednesday, September 28th, and just so you guys know, it is kind of the day that Ian is cranking down on our friends down in South Florida. So first off, I want to, you know, remind you guys to keep everybody down there in your thoughts and prayers. I've reached out to several of our friends this morning. Um, reached out to Darcy and Brian over on the East Coast, make sure they're doing good from Darcy's offshore. Um, our buddy Jeff over on the west coast of Florida, which they are just getting absolutely pounded. They are there in Fort Myers. You guys know South Florida is near and dear to all of us up here in the panhandle in our in our group because we love to go down there. We love to fish down there. Um, and they're, they're taking one on the chin today. So make sure you keep those guys in your thoughts and prayers. And we are experiencing a little bit of wind from this hurricane, but that's it. I mean, there's you guys can see we're blue skies all around. There's hardly a cloud in the sky. Um, pretty windy today. It makes things unfishable, but it's not detriment to the weather around here. It's just a little bit windy. So I'm actually going to show you guys a video today that Sarah and I were kind of looking through old footage yesterday, and we realized we never posted this video. We shot this in October of last year, and not only did we not post it, we never even put a video together. Like, I had this video footage, and Sarah and I had a really good day on the water, but we never really caught like a hero fish, but we caught a lot of fish. So that's what we're gonna show you guys right now. I do wanna let you guys know, this was pre-Waterlands. We were not working with Waterlands yet at this time, so I'm not wearing Waterlands in this video. We are alive and well with teaming up with Waterlands Fishing Optics. Absolutely love our Waterlands. As a matter of fact, you can click the link down in the box below. Use code CMRON and... <laughs> Guys, I just got chased by a dog. Like hardcore, just got chased by a dog. Oh my gosh. Whew. Oh, that's the fastest I've ever gone on the one wheel. My heart was uh my heart was definitely racing right there. Holy crap. As I was saying there, <laughs> whew, this video was shot before we signed our deal with Waterlands, so I am wearing something different than Waterlands in the video. As you guys can see, we are still rocking our Waterlands fishing optics. Still love Waterlands. We wear them all the time. Um, as a matter of fact, I got a link down in the description box below where you can click and get yourself a pair of Waterlands fishing optics. Just make sure you use the code CMRON. You can get yourself a nice little discount. But that's enough talking in the intro, seeing as how we almost died because a dog chased us on the one wheel. That was not our greatest day ever. Um, Let's get into the fishing. Let's go. Well, if nothing else, we got a dang good sunrise out of it. Yeah, we do. All right, y'all. So we are going to start off throwing the little Yozuri Cristo Minnow, the little shorter one. Um, of course, you guys have seen me fish here a lot. This is, man, that is a beautiful picture. Like, I can see it in the screen. Like, that's not just me. Are you looking but just at like yourself? You're like, no, that's a beautiful picture. Not me. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, that is an awesome backdrop right there, y'all, for real. Like, they don't get much better than that. All right, y'all. Sarah's got the first fish of the day. What is it? Is that a little mangrove? I think it is. That's a little mangrove snapper. Sarah getting a stink off the boat early. Y'all check that out. That's good. That means if there's one mangrove out there, that means there's probably more. Sarah still has not mastered the art of taking her own fish no, off the hook. They poke me. She's a little scared. Now, does that, those have teeth, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> not only do they have teeth, they'll try to bite you. See, y'all, right there, that proves that Sarah does not watch my fishing videos if she's not in them. How many times have y'all heard me say on this channel that mangrove snapper will actively try to bite you? Look how cute he is, Sarah. I like him. You want to give him a kiss? <laughs> bite my Toss face. Him right at her. Okay. See you, little man. All right. He's probably done got you in struck. Oh, no. Oh, I got him too high up in there. Holy crap. That's a grouper, baby. Is it a grouper? That's Sarah's first grouper, y'all. I got a grouper. Check it out. This is amazing. All right, y'all check it out. Sarah done landed a grouper. 
Did groupers eat me too? Do they have teeth? <laughs> Do they all have that, teeth? No, but that is a grouper, but yeah. I've never seen one with spots that small. That's a little different. I catch the pretty ones. Yeah, for reals. <laughs> I struggled for like a minute with that guy. He ate like three of my shrimp. I told you I was gonna get you sucker. I got him, look, and he's pretty. He's Sarah's, got pretty spots. Sarah's first look grouper, y'all. All right, let's get him back in the water. I could have a pair of pants with that design on it. That's pretty cute. There you go. Do I have to give him water? No, he's fine. <laughs> that was fun, I can't wait. Let's go get another one. I want another one. As I'm sure you guys can tell, we are dealing with another very windy day here in Pensacola story of our life i think we've only had like five days all year where it hadn't been extremely windy and we're in october so there's that there we go fish on it only took me two hours but i finally got one to bite and eat oh a little hey that's okay it's a little spade fish right there that's probably what's pecking sarah apart right there guys because spade fish have a really small mouth, so it's really hard to get a hook set on them. So no doubt, that's probably what's picking Sarah apart every time she goes down there. Spade fish are a really cool little fish to catch, guys. They're actually really good to eat, um, but you do need them a little bit bigger than this. But Brant and I have actually done a catch and cook on spade fish before, and uh, they're not bad. So we're in a multi-species kick today, girl. This is like species number three on the boat. Yeah, they're aquari uh, a spade fish is an, an aquarium fish, of course. So, all right, little buddy, let's get you back in the water. Getting a little bite, getting a little bite. There he is, fish on, baby. There we go. Now we're talking. Heck yeah. All right, let's see what we're working with here, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Nice, nice mangrove snapper right there, y'all. Check that dude out right there. Perfect hook set right in the corner of the mouth. Eat your heart out, baby. Is that bigger than mine? We him out. Let's get a measurement on him. I don't think he's going to beat Sarah's 14. She's still got the boat PB for mangrove snapper. Nope. That is an 11 inch mangrove snapper. We're going to take his whole dude home and cook him for supper, though. We're going to put him in an ice chest. Oh my goodness. That's another one. Y'all, Sarah's Good on a mangrove enough. bite right now. <laughs> Call me the mangrove queen. All right, yeah, this one here is going to be too small to keep. So we're going to have to put this one back. So we haven't quite got lunch See, yet. but he's so trying to that. bite you. Sarah's going to kiss a fish one of these days, and it's going to rip her lips off. <laughs> I think I got another one, baby. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you better get him in the boat this time. Don't lose this one. Got him, got him. Sarah and I got another one in the boat, y'all. Did I get bigger than yours? Sarah just stuck a 12 inch mangrove <laughs> snapper. Go figure. That's Are you kidding me? Where's your fish grips? Because I know you can't just hold him. Chica Lika back here putting it on him. We're going to put that in an ice chest. We're going to take him home and cook him up. Y'all know I love me some mangrove snapper. That's a snack right there. That is a snack. Yeah, baby. We just got like, what would it be like a Mighty Kids meal now? Maybe. <laughs> yes. There we go, fish on baby. That's a little bit better fish right there. Swimming right at the boat. Oh, no it's not. It's just... Man, when he first did that, it's not bad. I thought it was gonna be bigger. He ain't no record breaker. He's not bad, but when he first hit that guys, he was he felt like a heavier fish. I think it was just the way he took off. But uh, he's not even gonna be big enough to keep right there. But that is another mango. Watch this. Aww. Let him bite Sarah on the butt. That'd I'm be funny enough. right there. Ooh. Every video, out? every video, I've got to have one just like terribly ungraceful release. Like every video. There, really? there it was for this one. Sarah's getting bit. I'm getting bit. We get bit all over the place now, guys. Now we just got to put another one in the boat. That's what we got to do. Okay, I got one. Sarah's got one. <laughs> Sarah's on. You Bring said, him up. Oh, that's a nice said. one, baby. That's a nice one. <laughs> Still not a keeper, but oh not a bad gosh, finish right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. There. And he didn't need all my shrimp. That's perfect. Sarah struggles with taking her fish off, guys. She is uh, she's a little scared of the spine, so. I guess I'd rather get spined than bit, so. Yeah. 
So in our area of Florida, because we always get asked a lot, in our area of Florida, mangrove snapper legal limit is 10 inches. Um, we, as I've told you guys many a times, we really like them to be at least 11 or 12. Yeah. We don't keep very many 10 inches. Um, just because one, you don't get really enough meat off of them to even count. And our neighbors, just like <laughs> <laughs> our neighbors, just a couple miles west in Alabama, they actually have to be 12 inches there in shore to keep. So we kind of, we will keep an 11, 11 and a half, but we really like to be up around 12 before we keep mangroves. The two we've got in the cooler are both 11 and a half and 12 inches. I don't good. want to talk about That'll it. Sarah's good. was the 12 Mine inch one, bigger. but so did you get those off the Dar Sizzle website or did you get No, them? no. Are hold you on, on? Hold on while I catch my fish. <laughs> this girl is the, what, you're like the mangrove snapper queen today, Chica. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't Look even understand that. what the heck is happening. I'm trying to make fun of Sarah about her pants. And Actually, I, I got them at Ross. Guys, let me be 100% clear. This is no knock on Dar Sizzle. <laughs> We watch Dar Sizzle and Brian a lot, love their channel. We are not knocking on them in any <laughs> no. way. I just give Sarah grief because literally when she put this outfit on this morning, she did remind me a lot of Darcy with her uh, her visor cap and her fish leggings. And I'm like, okay. All that. All right, guys, here's what we're gonna do. We, y'all are gonna witness Sarah taking her very first fish off, all right? So you're gonna grab the top of your hook to control your fish. Mm -hmm. There you go. Don't, not too close to the bar, but that's well, perfect. Now, hook's in there. All right, now take your other hand and just slide him right down his head. Now grip him right there and just slide your hand straight down him, straight down him, straight down him until you're in the middle of his body. Now get a good hold on him. There you go, now pull the hook out. So we bought Sarah these mermaid pliers a long time ago and she's yet to use them. So use those and then you're gonna be able to get your hook out much easier. Part of what you're doing wrong, look. Okay. Got him! She got it! Look at Sarah, that's, I her, did it. that's her very first time ever taking a fish off the hook by herself. Good job, baby. I'm so proud of you. So does that mean I have to do it by myself? Every yes, time? every time, because I'm tired of taking your fish off. Oh. And now you gotta, you now you gotta release your fish. Oh, are you on? I am on. Your pole just... <laughs> Whoa! Guys, freaking ah. check this out. Let me My pole was just laid. That is awesome. Are you kidding me? And it's a redfish. Look. What? Look. My pole was just laying there dangling over the side while I was helping Sarah get her fish off. And I heard the pole rattle. He almost pulled my he pole almost took in that. the water. <laughs> That is too cool. It's not a it's not a slot red. It's just kind of probably a little 10 inch red fish. But man, that was awesome. That's pretty cool. And my pole was just laying there and I like heard it rattling and Sarah's like, do you have a fish on? And I'm like, I do have a fish on. So I grabbed it. If that had been a big fish, that rod and reel would have been gone. Oh, it would have took it. Like completely. it would have been gone too fast before I could have hooked it. I got to start not leaving baits in the water. So check that out though. Nice little redfish. That's awesome. Wow. All right, guys, get a good little look at the redfish there before I put him back in the water. He's got That's one, nice. two, three. Ooh, he's got That's a bunch of spots on, on this side. Look at this. He's got several. All right, little buddy, grow up so you can be tacos. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Got another one? Oh, yeah, you... this one's bigger. What is that? I don't know. Get him up in here. What is that? Is that another? Um... Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> this is the biggest croaker I've ever seen. Oh, he's got poop on Ever. Y'all, look, I'm gonna take this off just so I can show it to you all. This is a croaker, a giant. That's the biggest <laughs> croaker I've ever seen. Y'all look at that. That is a giant. I just croaker. captured that shrimp out there too. I, like, I thought maybe it was gonna be a red and I was like, it doesn't have a spot though. <laughs> He's back in the water now. What can I say? Oh my gosh, that was giant. There we go. Fish on, baby. Fish Woo! On. I thought you was gonna knock me out with your pole. No there. way. Guys, the first one those, uh, the first one of these we ever caught was at this dock. Chase and we caught just it. caught another one. We had when we this was back when we first bought the makeup. We had no clue what that thing we was. We hand me those fish grips. And it's funny, I'm not fishing with it right now, but you guys know Brant and I both use a lot of toadfish products. We use toadfish cutting boards. We use toadfish rods. Toadfish is actually coming out with a set of reels. And this, my friends, is a toadfish fish. So this is what a toadfish looks like in real life. We're gonna get this hook out of him. But that right there 
is a toadfish. So lots of people ask when they see us using toadfish rods and things like that, what a toadfish is. So that's it right there. They are gnarly looking little dudes. And guys, they are so slimy and nasty feeling. It's like, they feel like a, I don't know, like a booger. Is that where they get the toad? <laughs> <laughs> I touched her with it. From? Seriously, touch it. It feels dead up like a booger. I don't really touch my boogers. Ooh. Uh, I told you it feels like a booger. I don't, that is weird. It's a weird feeling fish. Uh, and by the way, for the subscriber that sent us these fish grips, thank you because these things are awesome. We really like them. Um, let's get this dude back in the water. See you, buddy. All right, y'all. So oh. Sarah is just crushing the fish. What's happening right now? Oh, no, but my line's all jacked up, and that is just the babyest little fish ever. Sarah just caught the world's biggest croaker and the world's <laughs> smallest croaker. Actually, that's actually, guys, this is another species. That's what not a that? croaker at all. This, pretty yellow. this is a little sand trout. Oh, okay. So that's actually a little sand trout that she just caught right there. Oh. Ah! He don't bite, right? No. Y'all check that out. Sarah just caught a little bitty sand trout. Oh, oh, I'm on, I'm on. Holy guys, crap. Every time I start talking to Sarah, that's another fish. I'm your lucky charm, baby. Ah! Guys, we are on them now. Check this out. We are on a hot, hot bite, dude. This is the best bite we've been on in a while. If you, I told you guys earlier in the video that we had been on the struggle bus with fish, and that has not been the case since we came back here. No, it's been Our only problem now is we're about to run out of live shrimp, but man, we are catching some fish right now, y'all. See you, dude. Babe, we'll have to go soon. Why? Because you said we had time, but we really don't. So it's only nine o'clock. No, you, Chrissy told me that her and Eugene is leaving today. Girl, I don't think you know what you're talking about because Eugene says he ain't going back to Kentucky with her. I don't know, but I want to be there because I'm wanting to see him gone. I mean, I don't think they're really leaving, so I, we're fine. No, I really think that we need to go. I mean, it'd be nice. We can't be rude and not see him off. You hate him. Well, but still, I'm not a rude person. Oh, oh, oh no. That's not a pinfish. That's something bigger than a pinfish. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's another. This croaker might be. I might have just Did beat just, Sarah's PB croaker. Golly, like croaker. man! <laughs> Look at the size. Like, if we could have had these, like, and took them to the bridge. Oh my gosh! If we could, have... dude, you're gonna make me use the belly. I'm gonna oh. put the belly on you. Dude, you made good. me do it. You made me do it. Like, I didn't want to use the belly but you made me use the belly. That's on you, dude. Some of y'all have commented about me using my belly to control my fish. Let me tell you what that is. When I use the belly to control the fish, that's the big finish. That's what we call that. Pull him in. Once you get him locked in right there, he ain't going nowhere, son. Nowhere. That's like using what you got. You know, working with, with That's right. <laughs> dude, this guy's feisty. All right, guys. That is another nice size croaker. If we were going bridge monster fishing today, we would have thrown these dudes in the live well and took them out to the bridge and caught some monster bull reds. But right now, we're gonna get this dude back in the water. See you, man. All right, folks, I truly hope you guys enjoyed that one. It was a, that was a good day on the water. We really never caught like a hero fish or anything. And I think that's why I never put it up. I think back then I was thinking that you had to have a hero fish every single time in order to, thanks sir, to post a video. But now that we're through that one, I'd let you guys know, you know, I talked about at the beginning of this video, all the stuff going on down in South Florida. And again, make sure you're keeping those guys in your thoughts and prayers. Um, unfortunately, I was actually scheduled to go to South Florida next Thursday. Um, I was gonna head down for a few days and obviously I don't think that's gonna be the greatest idea. I know there's gonna be some damage and stuff down there. So. I got the truck up here at Express Oil Change on Nine Mile Road. You guys know these, these folks take care of all of our vehicle service needs, whether it be oil changes, whether it be, um, I had new brakes put on this truck here recently, but they take care of everything for us. So huge shout out to them for always hooking us up. They'll hook you guys up too. If you are in the Pensacola area and you come out to Express Oil Change on Nine Mile Road, you can ask for Josh or Mike, tell them cameraman Ron sent you and they're gonna give you a discount off your oil change. They do a great job. But we got a big trip coming up. That's why I'm here today getting the truck serviced. I decided to do something a little bit different. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned. Make sure you get the notification bell turned on. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We got some good videos coming up. We can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care. We'll see you soon.